Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your April 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Capricorn who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so let's get into it. We have to tell Capricorn. Three of Cups. Uh, Capricorn may be dating. Uh, trying to create the hangman. Maybe dating a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Trying to look at things from a different perspective also. Or things have shifted and or changed within that di King of Cups. Definitely a Piscean person. Uh, it could be Cancer, Scorpio. Things have changed. you kind of going with the flow and letting things evolve. Princess of Pentacles. But you want to come back in. give gift or message to message about restarting and reshaping a, a relationship eight of swords because you can't stop thinking about a particular person someone who you feel is dynamic outgoing charismatic attractive sexy altogether someone who gets a lot of attention someone who has like a feminine quality about themselves Okay, the Magician in Reverse. The Three of Wands in Reverse. You feel like you can't keep waiting for this person because you there might be a level of emotional manipulation to keep pouring energy, effort, and time into this relationship. It's not going to yield you what you want. What you want to so stop giving energy and time nine of wands you guys may be separated it could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo you're evaluating the situation from afar now you get it in regards to this particular person you are a secret admirer or you have one Strength card in the Ten of Wands. Capricorn, you may be just done. You may have a strength to be done with this altogether. Either you or someone you're dealing with. This could be a person who you have children with, or you have history with. You knew from childhood or just a person that you, you have history with, history with, a past. Six of Cups here. You may have known them six or more months, six or more years. Six weeks. Let's see if we can get a different message from a different deck. Just seems like that, that dynamic change. You thought that you were going to create this boyfriend girlfriend dynamic wow three of three of cups and chariot could be dealing with a cancerian person dating a cancerian person dating a lot of people or just dating and trying to have victory in doing so uh someone's concerned about dating a lot of people and sleeping with a lot of people or being sexually active with a lot of people trying to get in control of that I don't even know how okay the hermit yeah you may just withdraw a bit for of water because you may feel like uh, you extended yourself but well, this person has a lot of people, or you have a lot of people. You extended yourself, someone didn't take to it, or vice versa. Messenger of fire. Yeah, this is a person who, um, I'm gonna put these back. They come back out then. You guys have kind of been in and out in regards to, you know, energy. 
it may not be that you don't talk all the time, but it's a hot and cold type of situation. Let's see. The Hierophant. Seven of Water. We're dealing with a Virgo person. Taurus. Someone is being unfaithful in regards to a marriage. This is the unfaithful spouse. Someone who makes promises just to break them. This could be you, Capricorn. This could be the other person you're dealing with. Somebody has you in a third party situation. So it's something about sexual partners. Ace of Air. Get some truth and clarity. Maybe having a new start, a victorious start by way of cutting away, cutting out. Cutting out maybe the King of Fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or, you, or there was some communication in regards to what you desire, what you want. What your heart's desire is in regards to... Let's see. Yeah. Queen of Fire. Definitely a marriage dynamic. Somebody... Yeah, four, four fire. Wow. Ace of fire and nine of pentacle. Someone's going to have the vitality to go after what it is they actually desire. Uh, it's going to put the energy, effort, and time into cultivating a real family dynamic or a real legacy I knew it the ten of earth someone feels as if they can have this with you Capricorn or Capricorn you feel like you can have this with someone else if they can get in control or if you can get in control of uh, the wonder and I the hot and the cold some of you are trying to start business and you want long standing legacy trying to gain stability within um, something you're passionate about new business getting very concerned about your money and, and uh, savings and long longevity in money ace of earth that blessed new start three of wands three of fire You're waiting for something to come in it could be settlement it could be money something about what is this about King of Wands again. This fire sign is all over your reading. Let's see. What shit? The Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody doesn't want to work on this anymore. Someone doesn't want to put energy, effort, time. So don't want to grow this anymore. Someone's giving up here. At least with, with it upright, it would be I'm evaluating the situation from afar. I guess we've maybe we've taken an energetic break. Either it's going to go to the Ten of Wands, or we're going to release this, or we're going to try to reduce it and try to find our way back to the Four of Wands. But in reverse, it's like I don't even care anymore. Wow, that is Six of Swords. Someone is physically, energetically, mentally choosing the choice to have peace, serenity, and clarity. Could be actually moving away. Three of Wands. Because they, uh, they feel like they've done some work. And they're waiting for their ships to manifest. This could be you, Capricorn, or someone feels this way about you. 
two of cups in the hermit. Someone feels like they are, could have a successful relationship with someone they're in separation from. They may even be traveling to see this person. Having the strength to start a new cycle, a new dynamic with this person. Um, evaluating the time, energy, and effort uh, spent in regards to a particular person or a job. Evaluating two very real options here. Weighing up the options. Do I stay or do I go? This could be in love. This could be in career. Not feeling strong enough mentally to see a way out of maybe the rat race. Nine to five. Needing to have the strength to walk away from something that is just not fulfilling you anymore. Hesitating before making the decision. Too concerned about what has been and not seeing what can be. Needing to energetically fight for this. Sometimes feeling like it's an uphill battle, but you need to gain control by way of fighting for it, defending this. This may be new business, Nine of Pentacles. This business opportunity that makes you restless in your current position. Heaven is blessing this. Whatever you or whoever you believe in in regards to a higher power, source, energy. They shine light on it. Do the possible. They'll get behind you and do the impossible. For it's for us to do the possible and it's for God to do the impossible. Okay. Uh, Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Talks about um, the division of what you love and what you're obligated to. Knight of Wands again. Some of you want to move, like physically move or um, you just want to have like a proverbial move away from, uh, yeah. Let's see what you should be focused on going forward. have success in a new business venture the love and relationship is going to take up an amount of work energy and effort to cultivate the ten of pentacles someone has been unfaithful or is unfaithful but I don't think you want to give up. Memories. Maybe that's what holds you. We did have the Six of Cups. Memories. Wow, emotions. We're going to take a dietary change. Adult children. Seeking and finding relationship dynamics. Grief work. Um, I think memories and emotions is what holds you to a situation that maybe you need to understand the dynamics have changed and it's no longer just you and a particular person. Uh, it's you, them, and the other people. And it could be on your side. It could be on, you know, the other person's side. People feel differently now about the relationship because it has changed. It is shifting. It has changed. 
adult children young adult children uh, for some of you these adult children hold the answer in regards to which way to go seeking and finding you're trying to what is looking what you're looking for is looking for you okay um, you will find it seeking and then finding okay um, also talks about needing to do research for some of you in regards to business and trying to start a new business seeking and finding grief work grieve the situation looks like you, you have a lot of uh, memories and emotions tied to maybe a relationship that possibly is no longer serving you dietary change veganism vegetarianism pescatarianism or just really finding a balance in regards to your diet okay. Capricorn I hope that this reading resonated with you I feel like I, I need to give you advice of the cards because what's the advice for the Capricorn Three cards of advice for the Capricorn. Okay, we get four. All right, let me put that in a second. Judgment call. All right, so we got the judgment. We got judgment. Uh, the king of fire. Once again, this fire sign. Six of water. Queen of water. The advice here is to be final and definite in your decision. Yes, memories and emotions hold you to a dynamic. You may even have children with them. You may even still be in love with them or you want to offer love to them. But spirit says you know what to do. You know which way to go. You intuitively, instinctually know which way to go in this. Which route to choose. Whatever it may be. Whichever way. You have to be final with it. You desire a, a particular person. Memories of how it used to be or how it could be. The advice here is to be final. Some of you will offer, extend an offer because you feel like this could be a successful relationship. Wow, this is another way. Honey, this is all together. All together, it just looks like Capricorn wants someone who may still be playing the field, who they're in separation with, who the dynamic of the relationship change, but they're still wanting the relationship. Um, extend the offer. It's either yes or no. It's either they're, they're with it or they're not. But you have to be strong enough to accept whatever happens um, you gotta be strong enough to um, extend the offer also um, hmm. okay Capricorn if you feel like this resonated with you for you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it is much appreciated thank you once again all of my information of how to reach me is below. Make sure you're commenting below. I want to choose three people to give a free five-minute session to. If you feel like you could, um, you know, benefit from a free five-minute session, make sure you comment below, okay? Thank you and take care.